was a bizarre and violent night. It started with a man and his 15-year-old son shot dead by a total stranger. And there was much more to come. In the next few hours, three other people were shot in incidents that were completely unrelated to the first one. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live at the Gallup Police Department. Nancy? Dick, I just spoke with the deputy police chief again. He says that this all started at about 7.30 last night at the Pinyon Hills Apartments. The suspect is there. This is what police are saying. The suspect was there trying to sell bootleg DVDs to his 39-year-old victim, Clifton Harper, and Clifton's 15-year-old son. The suspect claims Harper started hitting him. So as he was blacking out, he told police he pulled out a gun and shot Harper. Then as he was taking off, he shot Harper's 15-year-old son, Roman. Police arrested the suspects in that case two minutes after the shooting. While the father and son are in the ER, there is another unrelated shooting, this one in the hospital. They're in the emergency room at the Gallup Indian Medical Center receiving treatment, uh, those two individuals. And uh, we had a shooting at the hospital in the parking lot there. Uh, two individuals unrelated uh, to this case uh, got into an argument in the parking lot. One produced a firearm and shot the other one in the upper torso. Okay, that shooting victim survived. Police are still looking for a suspect in the hospital shooting. Meantime, get this, about 20 minutes later, a Colorado man is gassing up his car at a Shell station just off I-40 when a man walks up, threatens to take the guy's car, then shoots the Colorado man in the face with a BB gun. Then he takes off. That victim is okay. Then minutes after that, police say another man is shot in the face with a BB gun in the parking lot of the Fire Rock Casino. Police tell me that they're looking for two suspects. In that case, they think the BB gun shootings are related. So again, to recap, we have a total of three shooting victims who survived. The father and son did not. Right now, police are questioning the suspects, including a 15-year-old in connection with the shooting deaths of Clifton and Roman Harper. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this and bring you more as the night goes on. Back to you. All right, Nancy. Well, as you might imagine, people in Gallup and around Gallup are wondering what the heck is going on out there. Navajo Nation President Ben Shelley put out a statement about 30 minutes ago reassuring the Navajo people and people in communities around Gallup that the area is safe. He went on to say in that statement that people behind the shootings, and some are still at large, will be held responsible.